Aside from minor update, a 156 and 6 gb of RAM, this LiDAR like scanner is the main difference between the last year model and this. For most people that are on the fence waiting for this year iPad Pro, wish it has a more noticeable and substantive upgrade. But this is what we get. So in this video, I would like to focus on whether the LiDAR scanner is useful and is worth it to get this generation instead of the previous generation. First, let's get the obvious part out of the way. The price will be the main deciding factor in choosing which iPad Pro to go for. As my general rule of thumb, if the price difference is within $100, I would suggest go for the 2020 version, mainly for a 6K of RAM. And who knows, maybe Apple will release its Pro apps in the App Store to require more RAM. And with that out of the way, let's find out if the LiDAR scanner is worth considering when picking up yourself an iPad Pro. LiDAR scanner stands for Light Detection and Ranging. It is mainly used for sensing depth. It works by illuminating the object with laser light and measuring the reflection with the sensor. So, the difference in laser return time and wavelength can be used to make digital 3D model. Apple themselves even say it is so advanced that it will be used by the NASA for the next Mars landing mission. That's all fine and dandy, but how does it work in our real life? Let's start off with Apple default apps, Measure, to show off the accuracy of this LiDAR scanner. This app is solely used for measuring distance between both locations. And this is also worked with my iPhone 10 without the LiDAR scanner. So, on one side, we have our first contestant, the shiny new 2020 iPad Pro, equipped with the all new LiDAR scanner. And on the other side, the iPhone 10. Even without the latest technology, it is also equipped with a depth sensing lens for portrait shot. So, who will come out on top? Click the like button to find out. Thank you. Let's start off a simple test. By testing its accuracy from three different distances. We will use a 30cm ruler for this test. Let's start off with the iPad LiDAR scanner. And here goes the iPhone 10. As you can see from all three different results, the LiDAR scanner tracks distance much more accurately. This is to be expected, as the LiDAR scanner is made specifically for this purpose. But the iPhone 10 also performs reasonably well, and can give you a rough estimate for some quick measure. One thing to note, even though this LiDAR scanner is more superior in measuring distance, it is not used for portrait shot in the camera apps. And as you can see in the apps, there is no option for portrait shot. According to Apple Insider, it is noted that the sensor resolution is slightly inadequate for photo enhancing application, at least for the time being. But they didn't rough the chance of getting it used for portrait shot in the future, as machine learning is getting smarter every day. The LiDAR sensor can be also used for scanning 3D environment. There's an app made specifically to show off this feature. The UI of the apps is quite simple. Just press the record button and let the scanner do its thing. And there you go. This is the 3D model of my computer desk. The result looks somewhat disappointing, and I can't make out any detail on the individual object on my desk. But after some googling, I found a post on Reddit by the creator of this app that explained why the subpass scan result. It ultimately boiled down to Apple's own restriction, as they do not provide developer access to the raw LiDAR data, and hope iPad OS 14 will grant developers more options and control in the LiDAR scanner. Aside from simple measure apps, some developers do take advantage of this more superior technology to enhance their app's experience. Let's start off with some games. Apple does provide a dedicated list for all their AR apps, and there is quite a number of them. As you can see from the gameplay, it tracks the center of the object quite accurately, and even if I move the camera away, the object stays at the center when I move it back. It is quite impressive. As for utility application, the IKEA apps will be the best application to show off as it is most likely to be used by many users. As you can see, the size of the product is measured quite true to life, and the product actually stays still if you try to fit an entire empty room with a virtual furniture. So, after going through some of the use case of the LiDAR scanner, this is definitely not a deciding factor to go for a 2020 iPad Pro. And currently, AI ecosystem is not that matured, so you won't get much use case for your scanner 
unless for some specific case. I decided on getting this 2020 iPad Pro instead of the 2018 version due to the price difference is being less than $100, at least in my country, and I find a 6GB of RAM and Wi-Fi 6 is worth the extra dollar. Other than that, I also intend to use a scanner to visualize financial placement for my future condo that is currently under construction. I hope you all get something from this video and make a wiser choice on choosing which iPad Pro to get. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Ciao.